Georgina, you know, before we leave this, uh, you know, kind of data summary element for uh, BRF inhibitor-based therapy, um, you know, I want your, um, you know, kind of practice-oriented thoughts on brain metastases at presentation. So when we talk about the high disease burden patients, a good fraction of those will have asymptomatic brain mets on presentation. You have a very high response rate, very high tumor regression rate um, with, with BRF met combination therapy. Do you trust that um, as, as the treatment for a patient who walks in the door with asymptomatic brain metastases? Um, if it's one lesion, if it's five lesions, um, or I mean, by trust I mean systemic therapy alone, yep. monitor and defer yep. radiation, yep. or do you still feature radiation? Okay, that's a great question. You can almost have a whole session just on brain mets and how to manage brain mets because they are heterogeneous. If a patient has one versus five versus Millery pattern, you know, the ones that have 50 brain metastases on presentation, they are actually very different mm -hmm. patient groups and you can have a different approach. But in just answering your question, do I trust systemic mm -hmm. treatment regardless? Yes, I do. However, not for permanency. It's not going to solve mm -hmm. the problem forever. So um, uh, basically, we have a lot of trials actually mm -hmm. looking at other treatment approaches, combining local treatments, um, immunotherapies in the brain. We still don't actually have a response rate in untreated asymptomatic brain metastases for immunotherapies. But yes, I do trust the targeted therapies to control brain metastases. The question is for how long. Yeah. And so therefore, depending on the number of the patient, mm -hmm. the performance status, you may do different, you may approach it differently. Yeah. So uh, Jeff, on the toxicity front, um, you know, uh, dibrafenib and trametinib is well known for its fever and sometimes even recurrent fever. Vemurafenib alone and in combination still has photosens photosensitivity as a kind of recurring and nagging problem for some patients. Um, you know, how do you think about um, either upfront selection, but I guess I'm more thinking, you know, the, the you treat a patient, they're really having problematic toxicity. Um, do you keep sort of interrupting and trying to, you know, find a dose that they can manage? Or in this era where we have two approved regimens, do you switch? Well, I'll do both. In patients who I put on dibrafenib, trametinib, who then have fevers, I'll hang in there. I've had patients where I've gone through stop treatment, go on medrol dose pack, which I'll jump to very quickly after the first attempt at using non-steroidals and Tylenol, which may not work. Just give them a medrol dose pack. I let them self-manage. I mean, they'll literally, as we've discussed, manage themselves. And after 72 hours, the fever's gone away. They're tapering down the medrol dose pack. They'll go back on treatment, same dose. I don't even dose reduce because it doesn't appear to help. Right. Um, as to which regimen to choose, it's really a toss-up. I think if you played the game of overlapping the survival curves, I think they'd be virtually identical. Although I will point out, and I'd love to hear some comments from my colleagues, I think at this ASCO there was some updated, the, the sort of up-to-date median survival data was 30.6 months, I think, for COBRIM. Yep. No, phase one. This was probably seven. from the BRIM, BRIM 7. It was BRIM from seven. BRIM 7. Yeah, yeah so that's one. I still know one that has a long I think we can so, ignore right. that. So ignore BRIM that. 7, the treatment naive patients, small number, interestingly, 30 month follow or 30 month median versus for the whole group in COBRIM and I think the COMBI V, COMBI D, and the original phase 1 2 trial. It's about 24, 25 months. I wonder, is there really a difference there? Right. No. Well, well, I, we, yeah. we need more time. As you know, the, you know, the, the Vemurafen and Kobe uh, phase three trial was a, about a year delayed uh, in time, just to say that we don't have three year, we don't have confident two year and, not, and no three year insights, uh, which I think will then allow you to, to do this uh, overall survival uh, tracing uh, experiment. And we still need to establish the activity of that combination in brain. I mean, that the other thing is we've got published data now with dibrafenib single agent. The trial of dibrafenib and trametinib in brain is all just about complete. So we've got a lot more data and confidence about brain activity. Um, and that's an area that we need to understand with Vemcobi as well. And I think most oncologists, because v uh, Dabtrem was approved well before Vemcobi, I think most oncologists are simply used to dealing with the modest, frankly modest side effects, you're used to using the regimen. So I would suspect in the US, most oncologists are still using uh, dibrafenib, trametinib. Um, so fever in, a, 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 I mean, it, it's very common as Jason said, I'd, I'd put it up near 70%, but there is a subgroup that get that really, really bad recalcitrant mm -hmm. recurrent fever. Mm -hmm. um, and in that group, you may consider wanting to change treatment where you've tried the prednisone, you've gone up to 25, 50 milligrams, you've had them on that for two months, mm -hmm. and they still get a few breakthrough as you taper down. But there is that group that's difficult. It's interesting that you quote 70%. It's just, I, I think by the numbers, that's probably correct. But 
in my personal experience, and we're talking a fair number of patients in the triple digits, you don't hear much about it. I mean, you obviously hear about the bad fevers of 103 and the fatigue and the lethargy, but these are the low-grade fevers, which is what most of them are presumably. I, I guess I tend to not hear about it from the patients. Do you? I mean, do they call you with these low-grade fevers? Yes. I feel like so, I hear about it. Yeah, I hear about it. <laughs> my, my, my nurse is constantly managing it and keeping me out of it, but will, let, will update me.